Welcome to the Covita Gastrolyzer Plus Gastrolyzer Calibration video. To calibrate your monitor, you will need five components. Your Gastro Plus Gastrolyzer monitor, your tank of 100 ppm hydrogen gas, the flow meter regulator, the calibration Cali adapter tubing, and the D-piece one-way valve. Before getting started, it's always important to review the calibration canister to ensure it is in fact 100 ppm hydrogen, which is H2 calibration gas. First step is to remove the dust cap from the canister. You'll want to keep a hold of it and replace it when we're done calibrating. Now, get the flow meter regulator in one hand, preferably the left hand, and then the canister in the right. Now screw the threads onto it, turning clockwise until it's no longer turning. Now we'll want to get the small end of the Kelly adapter tubing and place it on the flow meter regulator. Now let's turn on the Gastro Plus Gastrolyzer. This can be done by pressing the on off button on top of the Gastro Plus, holding for three seconds and then releasing. You will see the Covita logo as well as an hourglass spinning around. During this time, it is auto zeroing for the environment that you are in. After boot up, normally the first screen to appear will be the main home screen. To get into the advanced options menu, we'll want to touch the gears icon located at the bottom left hand corner. On this screen, we'll want to touch the center icon represented by a canister of gas connected to a Gastro Plus monitor. Please note, on occasion you may not see the home screen when booting up. You will see this screen pictured here. This is the calibration reminder screen. This happens every 30 days and is a reminder to calibrate to correct for sensor drift. From the calibration reminder screen, we would simply touch the green check mark to continue. The first step to calibration is zeroing. We want to touch the zero scale and a rotating hourglass will appear. Once the hourglass disappears and you receive a check mark, we are ready to continue. After touching the check mark, we will be taken back to the calibration screen. Now it is time to place the D-piece into the Gastro Plus. This can only fit in one way. If it doesn't fit the first time, simply try it a different way. Now place the large end of the Cali adapter onto the D-piece. Now we're going to turn on the gas. The way that we want to do this is turning slowly counterclockwise. It's important to do this gently with precision because slow adjustments in either direction will cause a shift in a ball. We want to balance the ball between the second and third lines. Immediately after adjusting the flow rate to 0.5 liters per minute, you'll want to touch the calibration icon on the screen. Next, you will see a spinning hourglass as well as a PPM level. During this time, you want to ensure that there is no kinks in the calibration tubing. You'll want to let the monitor count up until you receive a check mark. After receiving the check mark, we want to immediately turn off your gas. This can be done by turning clockwise the flow meter valve. Now, this is a very important step. We want to be sure to lock in your calibration. If we don't do this step, it'll be like the calibration never happened. So to lock in your calibration, you want to be sure to touch the green check mark. This will take you back to the previous screen. Now, simply touch the home button to go back to the main home screen. Your monitor is now successfully calibrated. It's a best practice to remove the flow meter regulator from the canister when not in use. In addition, it's important to replace the dust cap onto the canister of gas. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact Covita. Thank you.